All right, let's take a look at the chart action for Cardano. So let's just start from scratch. As you can see, we've had like since back here a pretty nice uptrend. I mean, it's going up pretty nicely. So I don't know. I would say the bottom trend would be something like that. And then the next one would be something like this, something like that. And then we have another one going something like this. So we haven't even broke this trend line right here. We've been kind of testing it uh, the last couple hours or like today and yesterday, I guess you could say. And then we also have a top some like resistance, something like this. But uh, so we're looking I was looking at this like channel, something like this. But basically, um, yeah, we these are the trend lines that I'd be watching. So we have this channel right here if we break to the downside right here we could watch for this trend line right here if we broke this trend line going to the downside we'd have this trend line to watch right there but um in general i was kind of watching the fibonacci retracement since we were getting a kind of a swing to the downside and a lot of other crypto was too so what i was doing is targeting the fibonacci tool from the bottom to the top something like that we have this run going something like that and I put in a limit order at the the red line the yellow line and the green line 23% level 38% level and the 50% level actually I haven't put in these ones yet but that's what I will do if we could break this this uh, red line right here and this trend line so yeah for right now I just have a I just had an I had an order right there and it got filled but yeah, so let's check out the four hour time frame or the hourly time frame. This one's a four hour time frame. We have a trend line going to the downside, something like this. We had resistance right here and resistance right here. So let's do a trend line right here. And basically, I'm watching this trend line until we break this going to the upside, which it looks like we're kind of testing right now, right here. Um, until we break it going to the upside, I'm thinking, I don't know, we have. Also, this big uptrend, like I was talking about, we haven't broke it to the downside yet. So it looks like we're this downtrend and this uptrend are finally about to meet pretty soon. And we're either going to go get some uh, Fibonacci retracement levels or we're going to keep bouncing to the upside and keep on this trend line and break it another time. I just been watching this um, been watching this trend and it's been going up so hard. Maybe even back to this red line is all it's going to retrace down to. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I got in at dot, 2.53 and that order got filled so far. But let's see what this triangle can do right here. So let's take a look at the total crypto market cap. That's the other thing that I've been watching. And we did break this trend line that I've been watching on this chart. So we had a basically a, a rising channel going something like this we broke that trend line going to the downside but like i talked about in my dogecoin video <clears throat> uh i think it was my dogecoin video or or my youtube short or tiktok something like that uh we broke to the downside but we're just kind of testing the waters right now let's go to the daily time frame we can see it a little bit better um if right now we broke one candle on the daily below it and closed on it it seems like right now though we're on the next candle and we have a green candle so the question is we have all today and tomorrow or today pretty much to see we have 21 hours should i say till we figure out whether this is a red candle or a green candle and we come back up into this trend line that i that we've been watching pretty much and we get like like it was just a fake out pretty like it was a fake out to the downside and now it's coming back into this channel and we're going to continue moving up. But I would still say, like in the Bitcoin chart I talked about, or the Bitcoin um, video that I talked about, we have resistance up here and pretty much support right here. And then there's a 180 moving average right here at around 4,600, 4,500, somewhere around there. I don't know. Around 46,000. 46, I'm sorry. So somewhere around there, 45,700 or something like that. Anyways, we have resistance up here at the top and support down here at the bottom. So I'm kind of curious if it's going to do something like that and then go to the downside or go to the upside. I don't, 
I'm honestly not really sure yet, but I don't really like the way that we broke to the downside right here. And we are still, we also broke the nine moving average to the downside as well. We've, we've broken below it and then above it. So I don't know. In general, I think we're going to have to see. We're still above the weekly nine moving average, but I wouldn't be surprised if we had came down and tested it. Like I said, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. Do you guys think this is a fake out or do you think this is the start of starting to maybe find a little retracement and come back down and kind of cool off? Or do you think it's just a fake out and we're just going to start trending back to the upside and the bears are just going to get wrecked? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Dogecoin has been working out pretty good. Um, so, yeah, if we go back to Cardano real quick. Um, yeah, I if we go back to Cardano, I got that trend. I got that limit order right there, but I'm still watching this downtrend right there as well. Let's see what happens between this downtrend and this bigger uptrend. That one right there. All right. If you guys like that video, hit that thumbs up button.